I keep the lineup the way it is right now. You know, this they really started to pick things up towards the end of the first half. And now that they switch Ritson on that other side, I think they're doing exactly what they did against Cleveland. And once you do that and, and continue to force that play, you're going to get the opportunities. All right, taking a look around the league. Portland lost their first game, John. Since then, they haven't lost a single one in 22 <laughs> games. That is amazing. Four to one over Rochester in Rochester. Ryan Poor, who was in the Rail Hawks camp for a right. little bit, absolutely on fire. I think he scored one in his last five. Right. Yeah, it's going to be tough to catch Portland. You know, that's what that's what everybody's saying right now. They are playing some amazing, amazing soccer. Of course, you mentioned they lost the first game of the season. Everybody kind of scratched their head, but Portland is always up there. They're always a team that's fighting. Ga Gavin. Uh, the coach uh, for Portland, and I'm thinking... Yep. Wilkerson. Yes, Gavin Wilkerson. Nice job, me. John. <laughs> he does such a wonderful job. He brings in young players from, from the college ranks as well as, as veteran players. They're going to be a tough team to take down this year. All right, he's John Bouillet. I'm Dean Lincoln. We've got a special presentation down at halftime we want to go to right now. If we could go down there, folks, get a close-up of that, I'd appreciate it. As a couple special season ticket holders that we're going to interview as well. Let's see if we can get as close to that as possible. Good stuff there as uh, they're Palladini and Glinton fans. We're going to interview the both of them in a moment. That's Brian Wellman, the president of the Carolina Railhawks, making that presentation down there on the field. Good stuff from... Brian Wellman and Bill Ayers also was presented a game ball a little bit ago, and we'll also interview him. It's halftime at Wake Med Soccer Park in Cary. Ten and a half minutes to go. It's Carolina zero, the Vancouver Whitecaps zero, as the Chick-fil-A cow and swoops getting ready to send some goodies into the crowd here at halftime. Speaking of goodies, Dean, how about the taste of the triangle? Yeah, that was fantastic. In fact, John, I'm going to ask you to go get Marco Rosa and bring him up here real quick. And um, we'll keep on moving on. Halftime as you're watching Swoops. See if we can do that. Okay, so, they got a rundown, put on a complete outfit, including a real hunt jersey, shorts and cleats. And now we are getting ready to talk to the season ticket holders. That just won. How you doing? Good to see you. Tell me your name again. Claude Hughes. Claude Hughes, of course, one of our top season ticket holders, and his your little man is. Gavin. Hey, Gavin, how you doing, buddy? That's why you got Gavin Glitton on, right? All right, let's put Claude on first here, Claude. We're gonna be on USL Live, wearing your jersey. I love it. And I saw you guys also in the Taste of the Triangle tonight. That's right. I mean, I don't know about you, but I think I put 10 pounds in there. Uh, at least. <laughs> it was all so good, wasn't it? Absolutely. All Lots right. of great restaurants around here. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. <laughs> Gavin and your and Gavin, your little man, and, and Clyde? Claude. Claude, okay. Yep. So here's the deal. You guys have been season ticket holders from the get-go, right? Uh, before the club existed, as soon as it was announced, we bought season tickets. Well, first of all, on behalf of the Railhawks, as the voice, thank you so much for your support. Tell me how much you've enjoyed it so far. Uh, I've enjoyed the half but it would have been nicer to have scored on that last corner. <laughs> right, of course. But even to all three years, though, just along for the ride, how's that been? Yeah, um, we've seen play a number of players come and go, and a few remain constant, some changes in, in the uh, coaching staff and so forth. But the atmosphere has been the same. It's uh, a great family uh, uh, outing. We've brought Gavin's friends. We've brought, uh, brought other family members along with us. We've used our opportunities to bring uh, friends and, and neighbors along whenever we can. And where do you guys live, Claude? Uh, we live out in Mebbin. In so Mebbin, wow, that's yeah. a good hike. Good it's, for you guys. Hey, it's only an hour. Okay. <laughs> and you go to most every game, right? Uh, almost all. Wow, that's and, fantastic. And any, any tickets we haven't used, we've given away. So, so other people are here. Always good use. All right. Advocacy. Let's put Gavin on a little bit here, Gavin. Come on in here. You stay here, though, Claude. Claude, stay close by, all right? We got young Gavin Hughes. How old are you, Gavin? Good. How old are you? Eight. Eight? You play soccer? Yeah. What's your position? Um, right wing. Right wing. Who's your favorite player? Gavin Glenn. Of course, right? Because <laughs> and, and what are you gonna grow your hair just like him? What do you think? That'd be no. pretty cool. No, maybe not. You don't know if uh, mom and dad will like that too much. <laughs> all right. So, who was your favorite player last year before we got all these new guys in? I can't remember the name. Yeah, there were some good ones, though, back then, right? We had, of course, yeah. Caleb Norkis has been around forever. You got to like him, right? Everybody loves yeah. Caleb, and Capono Lowe's a good player, right? Yeah. Now, what soccer team are you playing on? Um, 
Dynamo. The Dynamo. I've heard of the Dynamo. Yeah, they're very good. Okay. And you play 3v3 as well or just 7v7? What are you playing mostly? Um, I'm not really sure. <laughs> probably 7v7, right, Dad? He's playing 7v7 soccer probably? Six on six. Okay. All right, Gavin, what do you think? The Carolina Railhawks are sitting right there, third second. You think we can win this whole thing? What do you think? Maybe. Got to win tonight, though, right? Yeah. Three points. What's your favorite thing about going to a Railhawks game? Um, seeing them win. Seeing them win. I like that. All right, let's put it back on your dad here a little bit, Gavin. Stay right in this picture, though, because here's what we're going to do. We're going to get this burned to you guys as well. And, Claude, what about Martin Rennie? And I know, um, obviously, Scotty Schweitzer did a good job getting it started, but Martin Rennie has really elevated the program. Uh, absolutely. Well, I have uh, all sorts of Scottish biases, given my own ancestry. And, <laughs> uh, back in the 1970s, I learned to play rugby and became a soccer fan in Glasgow. Oh, very uh, good. So, okay. um, uh, so hearing his accent and, and hearing Scotland the Brave each time is a great start to the match. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. I didn't realize you had that tie in as oh, well. Yeah. So have you had a chance to meet him yet, Martin? Yes. Uh, okay. uh, at one of the camps Gavin attended, uh, he was uh, 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 sort of, keep an eye on what was going on, probably chatted with me for 15 or 20 minutes. Okay. And that sort of rapport that he exudes and the players in those camps exude to lads like Gavin mm -hmm. and young ladies that were there, uh, that just bonds you to the team. Right. And, and I wish all the fans could know the, the way that these young men are living out their dream and sharing it with the likes of us. Oh, wow. Uh, and and that, that message needs to be out to, the, to our entire uh, supporting uh, community. Well, I appreciate that. Anything you can do to spread that word as well, is certainly as we you know, continue to try to build this thing. It's not easy, Claude, as you right. can imagine, as we continue to try to, to fill this place up. But if they knew about that interaction, they might want to come out, right? I think so. Uh, and the, the cosmopolitan nature of the, of the crowd is actually appealing to me. Okay. I've seen friends from England and, yeah. and, and, and friends from Latin America here. And, and so forth. So I think that's another uh, plus in all of it. Very good. Tell us what you do for a living. Uh, I'm a, a, I do pharmaceutical clinical trials research in okay. Research Triangle Park. Oh, good. Okay. Uh, and we own a farm out in Mebane, so we sell uh, to some of the local uh, specialty restaurants and markets. Now, what do you sell? Uh, eggs and herbs. Eggs and herbs. All right, fantastic. So down on the farm, my wife's the real manager, and I'm the technician. I'm oh, the wonderful. laborer. Oh, wonderful. Super. <laughs> all right, well, Gavin, thanks so much for being with us. All right, we'll see you at another game, okay? You come back on again sometime? All right, he's a good man, good-looking man. All right, thank you so much, Claude. My pleasure. All right, Claude Hughes, a three-year season ticket holder along with his son, Gavin on USLlive.com. We're going to ask um, John Bouye to go get Bill Ayers.